What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Mark here with the Crypto Mark. Let's talk some Dogecoin on this Wednesday. All right, so very cool stuff happening, right? Um, a lot of prominent voices we're going to get into, some of that. Um, also, we're going to be talking about uh, kind of just a mixed uh, thing going on within Dogecoin where a lot of people are thinking $1 in the cards. Um, we've hit a 40-day low for Dogecoin as well. Uh, and a very famous name has Dogecoin in their portfolio. So uh, we're going to get into that. And if a Dogecoin ETF is on the horizon. So I'm going to kind of go off to the cuff on this one and share with you guys you know, my thoughts and get a little bit into Dogecoin even deeper uh, as a lot of people out there are kind of in that weird kind of holding pattern when it comes to crypto, right? Pepe coins going nuts. Uh, some of the other meme coins are going nuts. Uh, but Dogecoin and SHIB, they're just kind of hanging out, right? The OGs within the meme coin space, uh, not ne necessarily something to report on that. Uh, but we are going to give you guys these headlines and I'll give you guys my thoughts along the way. Uh, please make sure you guys all subscribe down below. Smash that like button. And as always, let me know your comments in the comments box uh, below this video. Okay, so let's get into it, into it. And please remember, guys, not financial advice. So always do your own research and due diligence. Okay, but we look at SHIB. I'm sorry, we look at Dogecoin excuse me, uh, kind of a, a mixed bag. I was just looking at the SHIB chart, so I apologize for that. This is only going to be about Dogecoin, but um, this is a 40-day low for Doge. What is next? All right. Um, that's kind of where we've seen all of the meme coins uh, have a little bit of a pump in the last couple weeks and days, but now uh, this is something within Dogecoin. We've sold off a little bit. Now we're down below that 14 cents, and uh, we talked about Dogecoin and their support and the floor and all that stuff. Uh, for me, it was that 14 cents is where I, I kind of had my drawings and, and, and a lot of my uh, graphics that I pulled up for you guys about last week, I believe. Uh, that's where we saw Dogecoin, uh, where I would really start to be concerned if we fell below that. But um, it, it's all kind of cyclical. It all means really nothing in the grand scheme of things, uh, because if, if we're down below 14 cents right now for Dogecoin, are we just running to the window to sell? No, that's kind of what the whole issue is. It, it's just all kind of just um, a waiting game, if you will. So um, I did find my chart drawing that I pulled up and I want to show you guys some of these support levels. Okay. So uh, this is the floor that we have, right? And for me, it's, it's at this like 12, five level. Okay. Now this is all very argumentative and, and subjective. Um, to most, these are just lines and circles that people draw. But like I said, every time we hit down around 12, five, we bounce up. And even so we see this now at about 14 cents, uh, we hit around 13.3 and we even bounced up a little higher. So it's not something where I'm concerned, right? Uh, we look at, we can go back in time and you can see these levels where we've just had a steady ascension, which kind of just that sideways action. It's not really too positive, too negative, but uh, it was just more of a gradual flow. And, and now we've had that pump that we had experienced, okay, uh, back in a little bit late February. And now Dogecoin is just hanging out, right? And this is where we need to start that next leg up. And we can obviously do the math. But for me, it's 30 cents, 40 cents for Dogecoin. I firmly think that's in the cards uh, very, very quickly. Um, that's just what I wanted to share with you guys in the charts. Um, this is my uh, trading view that's incorporated within Margex. That is my leverage trading platform. Um, you can use up to 100x leverage trading on Margex. Links down below, no KYC. If you guys want to get signed up doing that, please do your own due diligence. Uh, leverage trading is extremely volatile. Um, and like I said, um, there's a sign up bonus using my link down below. I uh, get started trading with Margex today. All right. Uh, but this is another interesting thing I want to talk to you guys about within um, Dogecoin, right? And just to kind of piggyback off of uh, the, the $1 Doge, okay? For me, uh, like I said, it's 30, 40 cents right now. All right. I can see $1 Doge. Uh, that's past all time highs. 30, 40 cents is realistic. That's fathomable. Uh, let's, let's just kind of taste that of uh, 60% all-time high before we talk about uh, even getting above all-time highs to that $1 range, okay? Uh, but these were new comments made by Arthur Hayes, uh, which we all know the CEO of BitMEX. Um, and this is something where even further, uh, he goes in and talk about uh, the chance of a Dogecoin ETF. Now, this is something where uh, Real Vision CEO, um, Raul Paul, uh, something where I think they were interviewing... Uh, interviewing him and Arthur Hayes in response, okay, thinks that they will approve a Dogecoin ETF as well. Very fascinating, okay, very fascinating. He thinks that um, the Fed's going to uh, print more money uh, and that this will make cryptocurrency market even crazier and more popular, right? So I agree with that. That's how it should be. But 
Will that happen? Time will tell. All right. So then we get into his statement. Okay. And I'm going to pull it up on the screen so you guys can see it for yourself. Um, but uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you guys all do that right now, uh, please, and smash that like button. But what he said was he expects Dogecoin investors to receive that U.S. ETF approval by the end of the current bull market cycle. All right, it's talking about that Dogecoin is the oldest meme coin uh, on Robinhood. And if you're looking into traditional finance, getting into crypto, and they're going to put ETFs on everything they can, it's a high market cap thing. I agree with that. I 100% agree with that. Um, they're going to try to do that with everything they can. Um, but it, it, for me, it, it's something that I don't feel strongly uh, that every single crypto will get it. But it, it's not a good thing either. And that's kind of my thoughts. I, mean, I was kind of a glass half full person when it came to crypto and institutions and these ETFs and so on and so forth. Right? Um, I don't like the kind of merging within traditional finance. Uh, but for me, uh, and what Arthur Hayes is trying to say, um, I agree. I, I totally agree. Um, we're at a 40-day low for Dogecoin. Um, the Dogecoin ETF, if that would ever happen, um, that would erase some of that. It would be another catalyst to go alongside of Elon Musk uh, with an X, all that good stuff. And that's kind of what Dogecoin's lacking, right? Uh, they have potential to have one of the strongest meme coin utilities in the market. Um, that's undeniable. They, they can really separate themselves from the pack. That's what attracts me to Dogecoin even further. Uh, but it's something where to get where Arthur Hayes wants to get to, right? To get where uh, some of these $1 Dogecoin analysts want to get to, not so fast, right? Um, I, I want to see, like I said, 60% all-time highs. Let's let's get to that 30, 40 cents level, and then we can start talking Dogecoin ETF possibilities. Then we can start talking, um, you know, $1 Dogecoin. But let's just keep it 100 and focus on what's in front of us and not you know, putting the cart in front of the horse. So um, that's kind of where I'm at. Uh, like I said, please make sure you guys all subscribe down below. Smash that like button. Appreciate you guys all being part of the channel. And we'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.